with the engines all together in the Fox body. I've got it fired up. I haven't run it for more than maybe 30 seconds before because I didn't have the coolant lines hooked up yet. But I just got all those done. It's got coolant in it now. So just wrapping up the last couple things so that I'll be able to fire it up and run it for a few minutes, get it warmed up and make sure everything's going to be good. Just in the little bit that I ran it, it wasn't getting oil to the top end yet. It wasn't getting oil to the rocker arms. But the lifters are getting oil because they pumped up. So everything's fine. It's just that these Pontiacs, for whatever reason, take a long time to get oil to the top end. So I'm not too worried yet. Gonna fire it up and run it a bit. Go from there. Got all my coolers mounted up and plumbed in. That's my transmission cooler. And then this one down here is for the power steering. Since I'm running Hydro Boost, I put a cooler on it. So I still got to detail the accessories. I want to paint that power steering pump and maybe possibly polish the alternator or paint it or something. Got the radiator mounted in there. I didn't like the original top mounts. Pretty bulky and ugly. So I made these tabs, welded them to the core support and so it just bolts through the factory holes in the radiator with some rubber washers so it doesn't vibrate and get stress cracks. So that should be all good to go. All the heater hoses are done. I'm going through and using all these style clamps. So every time I go to the junkyard, I grab a couple. These are the original factory style clamps from probably the 70s and 80s. Work a lot better than the screw type. And they look a lot better. So going through and trying to detail things out, make it look nice. Still got a ways to go, but we're getting there. My remote oil filter setup's working great, no leaks. So I got it mounted on there at a bit of an angle. And then I used some straight fittings, went up and got my homemade adapter plate. Which is funny because I spent a lot of time building that adapter plate and then found out that they sell them for like 30 bucks. But that's all plumbed in. Got some 90s going on down there. So I got plenty of room underneath there now for the exhaust, which I still gotta start working on. I think I've got it figured out how I wanna do it. I just gotta start actually mocking things up. Got the transmission lines made and bolted in. They go there. Then they turn down to the transmission. So I bolted them to the frame and then I put the hose on the transmission end. Usually the lines are kind of bolted to the motor and then you put the uh, rubber hoses in the front, but this way I think looks a lot cleaner. So I got that done. Power steering lines are all done. All the return lines are all hooked up. I found this T fitting at the junkyard. I think it was off the Mustang that I got the Hydro Boost lines from and cut it up a little bit and made it work. I've got my stainless braided pressure line going in there with a 90 fitting on the pump and then I got the banjo fitting up here. So that's how you can use a 2000 or I guess it was 98 and up Mustang Hydro Boost on a Fox because usually if you try and use the factory hose this wiper motor is in the way. So. Um, at some point I might try and make a full video on how to do that with all the part numbers because it definitely took me a minute to figure that out. No one will give you clear answers, so that's all squared away. Starting to work on the wiring now. Got the nose of the car off again. Hopefully be putting it back on permanently for the last time here soon. Got all the headlight wiring cut out of the original harness. So I'm gonna basically splice that together so that I have just the headlights and one little wiring deal there and run that back to the new main harness. So I got all the original wiring cut out of the car and 
I just put the dash back in. It wasn't as bad as I thought. When I pulled it out, I remember it was pissing me off because it's plastic. And a couple of these mounts broke off. Because this thing's 40 years old and it's pretty crispy at this point. But it went back in. It's in there. So that saves me a couple hundred bucks trying to deal with that. So I'm happy there. But now I've got... This is just a really cheap, probably really junk universal fuse block with however many six or eight circuits or something just to run the under dash stuff in the car. So I've got that and I'm going to basically splice all the, the ends of the original harness into this main harness. And the whole reason I'm doing that is because this is an 81, and this is when they started putting all those smog sensors in the thing. So by the time I were to strip the original harness and try and figure out the original wiring schematics and stuff in color codes, it's a lot easier to just start from scratch. So that's what I'm doing. So i got to find a spot to mount the fuse block because it's kind of big and bulky compared to the original. And then I can start wiring it all up. I got my B&M Mega Shifter in there. It's all hooked up. Cable's going to the transmission. It's all hooked up. And I just now ran the wire to the fuel pump. I've got the fuel pump mounted on the the brace underneath the car right in front of the or behind the rear axle. And then I got the wiring coming up where they've got the sending unit wire going. And that comes up, runs through the rocker panel, comes out up here, and I'm going to put the relay up under the dash somewhere. So, fuel pump's just a Carter rotary vane pump. Probably not going to be able to see it very well, but it's mounted up right there. Got that all plumbed in. But that's about it for the moment. She's getting there. As soon as I get this fuel pump all wired up and plumbed in, I'll be firing it up and running it for a little while. And then I just gotta finish the wiring and put an electric fan on it. And it should be pretty close to going down the road. I also made up this fuel line here, just along the firewall. Since I'm not running the mechanical pump, I didn't need to go all the way to the front of the motor and then back, so that just runs along the firewall there and goes down. Joins up to the original line. So we're getting there. 